Looking to display your WordPress posts in Elementor? The post list widget lets you showcase your blog posts in a clean, multi-column layout while offering features like filtering, pagination, and load more. Let's get started. Before getting started, make sure you have the Unlimited Elements free version installed and activated on your WordPress website. Then head over to Unlimited Elements, Widgets, and use the search bar to find Post List. Hover over it and click Install to add the widget to your site. Next, go to the page you want to edit and drag and drop the Post List widget from the Widgets pane onto your Elementor canvas. In the Post Query selection, we can select from a variety of post types whether it's regular posts, pages, products, or custom post types. Select the desired post type to display. Include or exclude the posts according to your preferences. Set the maximum number of posts to display. Select the post order and order direction accordingly. In the general settings, select the post image size according to the layout. Select the item layout to either row, row reverse, column, or column reverse. The Row Reverse and Column Reverse options are only available in the Pro version. Choose the number of columns you want to display in the post list. Adjust the gap between posts. Set the number of characters for the post intro. Enable the Show Empty Message option to show an empty message when no posts answer the query. Enter the empty message. Select Yes if you want the links to open in a new tab. Enabling the Disable Link option will remove the link from all posts. Make All Item Link option will make the whole item clickable. In the Layout options, enable Show Image to display the post's featured image. Select the desired option from the given list to show the categories of the post. Show or hide the post tags. This option is only available in the Pro version. Select the tag's position accordingly. Show or hide the title of the post. Select the HTML tag for the post title. Similarly, show or hide the post text. Enable the Show Button option to add a button. Select the button location to either On Side or In Content. The In Content option is only available in the Pro version. Select the button link type accordingly. Type any custom text for the button. In the Additional Data options, you can show or hide additional data as needed. In the Pro version, you can also display custom metadata from advanced custom fields. Enter the meta field name. If needed, you can add text before the custom meta. Choose the custom meta icon accordingly. I'll quickly add the remaining meta fields as well. In the connected widget settings, enable the connect remote control widgets option if you plan to add remote controls later. This allows the remote widgets to control the post list. In this section, you can also sync the widget to other item-based widgets. In the Post Pagination and Filtering options, choose whether to display pagination as Numbers or using the Pagination widget. Enable the Post Filtering option to use Post Filter widgets like the Tabs Filter, Load More, and others with this grid. Select the filter behavior based on your layout. Finally, choose a filter group. We'll use the same group in other filter widgets later. Once you've added the content, you can start configuring the widget style settings to match your design needs. Adjust items, background color, border radius and shadow, content padding, image width and height, category color, typography, and more to ensure the post list widget seamlessly integrates with your website's design. To complete the design, let's add filters such as search filter, checkboxes filter, load more filter, and more. Make sure to select the same group we used in the post list widget. To wrap up the video, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome tutorials. Start using unlimited elements and give your Elementor website superpowers. We can't wait to see you in the next video. Thanks for joining us, and see you next time.